Okay, we had another couple games last night. The first game I had was against Wood Elves. Again, this is a 2250 game. And Wood Elves, I've only played one other time, so I really didn't know. I wasn't sure exactly how I wanted to match up my troops against his, and I wasn't sure what to expect in terms of uh, how lethal his troops could be. So, uh, interesting game. You can see the the board we were working on. On the left, we had a hill. There's a forest, although there's no trees in it uh, on the left, just up from the hill. That's a forest. Then a house, and then another forest at the top. On the right, starting at the bottom, we had um, some rough terrain, and then a forest, and then a hill at the top. So you can see how the, the, the battle lines ended up being deployed on the... Uh, this would be my opponent's right flank, uh, my left as I'm looking at it. He had a treeman with glade guard with some uh, war dancers behind him, and he had a uh, a noble in with those uh, with those guys. And he had some dryads that uh, the tree and the two spawn represent some tree kin. He had glade riders. He had some war dancers, and that unit of war dancers. Um, First of all, there's a, he's missing a model or two. He put him in later. He forgot to deploy them, but they're a little bit bigger than that. But there's also there's a noble and his lord is is in that unit. So then he has a to the right of that you see the eagle and those two other um, bases. Those represent warhawk riders. You can see he has some glade riders in front of them. Uh, to the right he has in the back some more glade guard, some more dryads, and then glade guard in the forest. So. Opposite that, on my right flank, I really was just going to give him the side of the board and then try to overwhelm him on the other side of the board. So I went ahead and I started deploying at first with my peasants over here because I just really don't care if these uh, these guys are taken out or not. Um, so you can see I have my I have some fast cab in the right hand corner. Not sure what I was thinking there. I thought he was going to fly behind my lines and uh, yeah, whatever. But you can see I have a couple units of uh, peasant bowmen. Then in the woods, I have my skirmishing peasant bowmen. Um, went ahead and deployed some Pegasus Knights over here in case I needed them, but um, also because they can fly 20 inches and I can get them out to the other side of the board if, if I want to. So starting on my left, you can see my general, the monster hunter, way at the far left. Got a big unit of Knights of the Realm, big unit of Knights Errant with my BSB, small unit of Knights Errant, and um, I changed my list up. Instead of taking a, a five-man Knight Errant and a five-man Knight of the Realm, this time I took six-man Knight Errant, made him full command, and it gave me a few extra points so that I could give some, I could spread some musicians around. I took an extra a magical banner, a couple extra men at arms. So, anyway, this is a slightly different list than um, previous battle reports. Anyway, uh, after those knights there, there's some Pegasus knights, my trebuchet. I have uh, 23 men at arms. You can see I'm proxying three dark elf models there behind them. And then I've got five grail knights with my damsel. So, Wood Elf turn one. You can see he keeps his uh, his treeman back. He he knows my general. Uh, this guy and I play each other quite a bit, so he knows I'm I'm gonna fly out and kill him. So he took him, held him back, have those war dancers right next to him, so that presumably when I fly in, if I don't kill him right off the bat, they're gonna whack me. You can see he has his glade guard on the hill. Everybody else didn't move too awful much. There at the side of the board, you can see he took his. Uh, his way watchers. I'm not sure if I if I said that correctly before, but took his uh, way watchers in the hill so he can shoot at me. Brought his fast cav up and moved forward with his dryads. So um, no real surprises there. Uh, the shooting phase, um, some surprises came up. To say this was a shoot a shooty heavy army um, would be an understatement. Three units of glade guards. Uh, those way watchers are just nasty. The uh, noble and the lord especially was just nasty. The lord was able to shoot, to take all of his attacks and shoot with all of them with the bow of Lauren, and then he had something else that negated armor saves. One thing I'm not sure if we played right or not. I don't know what strength the the bow of Lauren is supposed to be, but um, it was hitting a high enough strength that I was he was wounding on a two up with no armor saves. So it was just brutal. So you can see turn one, he killed, uh, knocked off a couple of my my Grail Knights there. So turn one, I um, I didn't race forward. I, I I moved forward a pretty healthy amount. I knew I could charge his uh, Glade Guard on the hill. And I think I was staying far enough back, trying to stay out of his Strength 4 range. If, if you're under half distance on his bow, he gets Strength 4. 
and I'm not sure why I bothered because he can move and shoot and it was really just stupid on my part. I should have just charged forward as fast as possible. But anyway, you can see what I did there. There in the middle of the board, you can, I, you can see I took both units of Pegasus Knights, charged his, his fast cab just to get him out of the way. Um, he fled with one. He stuck with the other one because had they fled, they would have gone to that house and been destroyed. And then you can see I took my fast cab, moved him up, and I'm just... On that side of the board, I, I liked. I was glad to see his dryads moving forward uh, over there. I wanted to, again, just try to separate his army as much as possible. So, you can see uh, after combat, I, I uh, took care of those fast calf pretty well. They fled, so I uh, don't love the position my Pegasus Knights are in because now his dryads are going to be, be able to uh, charge me because they're skirmishers. But that's how the board looks at the end of turn one. Turn two, he, he did charge me with those guys. I'm not, even though I've looked at their stats before, I'm not comfortable with how they are in, in combat yet. And I decided just to go ahead and flee because I didn't see him doing a whole lot else to me there. Plus, I never flee with my Pegasus Knights. And yeah, might as well try to see how that works. That red token you see is how I'm marking my troops when they lose their board save. So you can see from shooting, I'm down one wound. Or from combat, I don't know. But the uh, the red token means they no longer have a ward save. You can see on this side of the board, on my turn I had moved my damsel into uh, into that unit of men at arms because she had the spell that would make a, a unit uh, minus one to hit with range, and I was gonna I tried to cast that on his way watchers, and uh, it failed. But that's why she's there. Plus the Grail Knights weren't gonna offer much protection pretty soon because they were already pretty depleted. So he took his Warhawk Riders, charged that unit in an effort to um, to kill my mage. You can see here these Pegasus Knights. I think what happened here is he actually charged my Pegasus Knights and I fled. And I did that because I had no idea what the Warhawk Riders were, uh, what they were like in combat. And in hindsight, I wouldn't have done that. I, I would have stood and taken that charge and I probably would have done okay. But... Um, I fled. Another reason why is because I was wasn't worried. This this unit of men at arms has so much static combat res that uh, I thought I would I would just wipe out his uh, warhawk riders pretty easily. So there's another look at turn two. You can see he uh, his smaller unit of fast cav fled off the board. His larger unit rallied and and came back to the center of the board. And on this side, really not a whole lot happened. You can see he moved his dryads up, and other than that. Um, He's just kind of hanging back. You can also see during the shooting phase, he killed another four of my knights. Um, this it was just brutal. The, the, yeah, <laughs> that bow of Lorne combined with uh, whatever else he had was just just eating me up, along with all the all the, all the other arrows flying through the air. Ironically, though, with those Waywatchers, they have like kind of killing blow on their uh, ranged attacks, and the whole game long, they never never rolled a six to wound, which is kind of funny. You can see he's shooting me up on the right-hand side of the board. I'm missing a couple of my fast cav. Uh, the unit of archers that was on the hill took some, some casualties, and they fled. So you can see the Warhawk Riders, they were able to pick off my mage. I lost uh, only one guy, and so static combat res, uh, I won that by just a whole lot. They fled, and luckily for me, it causes dryads to flee. So that uh, I, I wasn't quite able to catch them with my men at arms. That would have been really nice, but uh, uh, but that combat turned out pretty well. So you can see on uh, on my turn, I took the small unit of knights errant, charged his men on the hill. You can see they chose to flee instead. Uh, I'm still hanging out with my general. I figure, although I'm not killing much, um, if I'm keeping his treeman back there in the corner, then with all those uh, war dancers, then, then he's doing his job pretty well. And you can see I'm bunched up by big blocks of knights for a combined combined charge. I'm hoping uh, I'll just choose one of his tougher units and, and try to get both of my uh, big blocks in there. So you can see on my turn two, both units of Pegasus Knights uh, rallied. I took my Grail Knights and angled them towards the Dryads on the right. I figure he's going to charge either my Pegasus Knights or my... Uh, Grail Knights. If he charges my Pegasus Knights, I'm not sure. I remember thinking I, I, I may hold, I may flee, and it doesn't matter. Either way, I'm going to get a charge with my Grail Knights. And that's a pretty good use for them, I think. So, 
can see uh, how it's looking on this other side of the board. It's really, you know, he's I can't compare with his his ranged attack, so he's taking me out over here. So Wood Elf turn three, you can see he takes his, dry, his dryads. He charged my Pegasus knights. I decided to hold, and I'm going to counter charge with my Grail knights. You can see his uh, Warhawk riders rallied. Everybody else is just kind of hanging hanging back. And then blew me away. He took his, uh, during his magic phase, he had a one-use item, and it transported his Way Watchers all the way from the middle of the board to the far right-hand corner of the board, because I guess he can teleport woods to woods. Blew me away. I, I, um, I was actually kind of happy about it, because they were tearing me up with their ranged attacks. So, um, kind of surprised, and uh, we will continue on in the next segment with what happened after that.